Yes, good morning children. So today we will see important topic, lactometer. So earlier we finished what is density, what is relative density of solids, what is relative density of liquids. Generally this chapter, this lesson is very useful to understand the milk where it is pure or not based on the concepts of density. Generally when you add water to milk, the density will be changed. So pure milk will be different from the water contained milk. So the milk with water is different from pure milk. So in our daily life, we have so many people are adding water to milk. So with which the purity of milk is decreased. The purity of milk is different from the milk contained water. So now, how can you test the whether the milk contains water or not? So for that purpose, we have an instrument called lactometer. So lactometer is an instrument which is very useful to find out the percentage of water in the milk. So how much water is added? What quantity of milk is, water is added to milk? So from that we can avoid the, the we can take a pure milk from the milk vendors. So for that purpose, if you don't have any lactometer, so then how can you prepare the lactometer? We will see. But uh, the purpose of the lactometer is the amount of water where it is more or less in the milk we can identify. So the quantity of water can be identified with the help of lactometer. But can you know directly the water con water percentage? So we don't know directly. But with the help of the reading of the lactometer, we can understand the density will be varied from density of the milk is different from its pure milk density. So the, when you are adding the water to the milk, the density is changed. So based on the density concept only, we are able to find out the percentage of water in the milk. So the lactometer works on, works on the principle of specific gravity of the milk. Lactometer works on the principle of specific gravity of the milk. So now, first use is to understand and to identify the amount of water in the milk with the help of lactometer. Second is, it works on the principle of specific gravity of the milk. But how can you prepare a lactometer at your home? So simply take a test tube, just so you can understand. So fill it with water. So take a refill or take a strip. So now keep in the water. So identify the up to which extent it is floating. So up to where it is floating. So mark it the floating point of the strip or refill in the water. So now based on the density, based on the relative density only, the floating is depending. So floating depends on the the relative density of the each object. So now, so take out the strip and keep in the other. <coughs> we have taken instead of milk, we have taken some more liquid. Some sand is added to the water. So now it is a direct water only. So now you can understand based on the density, the floating point will be different. So now the strip is not going inside, it is not inserted completely, it is floating. So you can understand, it is not inserted completely. So with, each, with this we can understand, the density is different of the pure water and the water with some sand or mud. Similarly, you can insert in the milk also. So you pour some milk, pure milk and Take the reading or the level of the strip where it is floating and add some more water. So then you can understand with the help of the strip level whether it is pure milk or impure milk or what it is there or not, we can understand.
So with this, we can understand the lactometer working principle. So lactometer is a device which is used to understand and which is used to identify the quantity of water in the milk. So tomorrow we will see some more experiments. Thank you.